hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really good so for today's video something very different i am doing a i don't even know what to call it because it's not a vlog it's a i decided to get up at 5 a.m video and this is what happened <laughs> so i don't know if i've mentioned in one of my previous videos that i'm finding it hard at the minute to kind of get back into a routine get really motivated for like working out and everything again i was away over the summer which was amazing um and before i went i felt like i was in a really good really good routine of working out eating good and i felt like i felt like i was smashing it actually and then it all went to shit over the summer I just indulged, which is absolutely fine. Amazing few holidays. Um, obviously went to LA. It was just incredible. But since I've been back, I was a bit poorly. Actually, had a chest infection, and then then had like another cold and really bad throat. And I was like, I'm so sick of it. I just feel a bit run down. I wasn't working out as regular. Um, kind of getting up a bit later, going to bed later, and I was like, enough is enough. I want to get back into a really good routine. So. For the last few months i've been reading the 5am club book very very good book i would really recommend it because it's a self it's not like a normal self-help book it's written in more of a fiction so you kind of go along with the characters learning the steps which is i found a really good way i've never read a self-help book written in that way normally it's like this is what you need to do blah blah blah, blah. but with this you kind of go on the journey and learn with the characters in the book so i really have liked how it's been written anyway i've been reading it for about four months on and off okay i never have time to read i find reading a chore i never set time aside to read i read it on a few holidays like by the pool and everything and i was really enjoying the book but then i'd come home and i would just literally forget about the book for like three weeks and i'd pick it up again read a little bit and I was like, oh, I'd really love to do this, but I'm just never going to be able to get up at 5am because I'm not a morning person. I'm not naturally a morning person. Um, so I'm not going to be able to do it. And the more I'm reading this book, it's just the more like I'm just literally making excuses. So I was like, do you know what? I want to give it a go. So I'm actually filming this future tense right now because this is at the end of the video i've already done the 5 a.m days and um, today was a 5 a.m day but i just wanted to sit and do a proper intro to put in at the beginning sorry if that's confusing but um yeah i was like i need to just do it so i don't even know what clicked in me i think i was getting back into pt the last few weeks i've like booked all my pt sessions and i do tend to book them early at like normally 8 a.m sometimes 7 but i literally roll out of bed 10 minutes before i'm in a massive rush um and say if i've got a day you know sometimes when i have work i can be up at like half four five six it really depends um but i can get straight straight up it's fine but on a day where i'm working from home where i haven't got to be up at a certain time i find it so hard i am a massive procrastinator i am not naturally a morning person like i go to bed at like 1 a.m i would happily sleep until 11 but i never do because i've got too much to do um but now i'm a dog mom and stuff obviously i can't but um i mean i sleep until nine half eight nine i will set my alarm every night i do it i'm like i'm gonna get up i'm gonna have a productive morning my alarm goes off and i'm like no 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 snooze 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 um and i just feel like groggy and exhausted when i wake up i'll then come into the living room have a coffee sit and watch tv for a bit and like before you know it like, shit i need to walk the dog i need to get ready i need to do all my work i've got loads of work to do i and then rushing around until like seven eight o'clock at night i then have a late dinner go to bed really late and it's just this cycle and i was like enough is enough okay i thought i'm gonna just try it and you'll see in the video how i have got on but i just wanted to follow the rules in the book and kind of see how i got on so yeah if you want to see how i got on waking up at 5am in the morning please keep watching
Good morning. <laughs> well, I'm gonna watch this back and think. Oh, I look freaking awful. I'm not so proud of myself. Uh, last night, I was actually in bed at half ten. That is unheard of for me. Normally, it's like 1am. Ellen stayed round and she normally gets up at like 5 and um, she goes to bed early. Well, probably a normal time. That's not early for me. It's early. So I thought I'd join her. I've just slept. <laughs> She's really excited. She's like, Mama, why are we awake this early? <laughs> Aren't ya? So I've just let baby sky out. It's quite nice at this time, but no one else is awake. Oh, are you tired, baby? Are you tired? Are you tired? <laughs> Oh, we'll go to daycare soon and see your friends, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a read of this and I'm also going to fill out my five minute journal. I've not done this in a very long time and getting back journaling is on my list. So yeah, let's do that. Also, I got this new water bottle from Amazon and I bought a water filter from Amazon as well. Um, so yeah, every morning, well every day now, I do my water filter overnight and fill this up. I am yet to stick to it though. Um, it's actually really hard and it's made me realise how shit I am at drinking water throughout the day. So this is something that I'm really, really trying to do. Oh my god, so I don't have any almond milk or oat milk. Guys, I can't even have coffee. And Starbucks doesn't open till 7. And the shop doesn't open till 7. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Why was I, why did I not um, be prepared yesterday? I'm so stupid. Messaged me this morning saying I bet you still be late, but I'm not. I am gonna be early. It's giving me so much more time, and I feel good and refreshed. So I am back from PT, and I feel great. I don't know if I'm gonna crash in a few hours and be like, oh my gosh, but 
I don't know, I feel really good. It's like quarter past eight. My PT was at seven. I was there early. She was like, are you okay? I was like, I don't know. I've been up since five. But I'm feeling great. I'm gonna go and drop Sky to daycare now. Um, and then I need to go to M&S, I need to go to Sainsbury's and I need to go to Pets at Home. So I'm gonna get that done now and then the morning, oh, I'm gonna get a coffee as well. Okay, I'm gonna, there's a Starbucks next to M&S so I need to get a coffee. I'm gonna treat myself to a Starbucks. Um, but yeah, I feel really good, like it's crazy. Um, I did not think I was gonna get up this morning. Like honestly, I do it majority of nights i don't set my alarm for 5 a.m but i set my alarm for like seven and it goes off and i'm like ha nope and i'll sleep till like eight half eight unless i've got like you know work or pt that's why i bought my pts early because it just gets me up um but if i haven't got to be up like at a certain time like i just cannot get up it really frustrates me i just wanted to implement this in i don't know if it's going to be like every single day but at least a good few times a week because I don't know, I feel really good today and I feel really like proud of myself and I feel really productive and motivated and I wanna just keep, you know, carrying on. I don't wanna like sit and chill and watch TV because I'm like, no, I'm up, I've been really good. So I feel like it sets you up for the day. Um, and obviously I've done my workout as well. So I'm feeling actually very good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go now and just get my little errands done for the day that I need to do. And then when I come back, I have got work to do. So yeah. First morning at 5 a.m. is complete. Come and see your friends. Mission one complete. I've got my coffee. I got a flat white as well. A little bit strong. Oh, a little bit stronger. I think it's needed. I'm still feeling good though. I'm just going now to MS and then I haven't actually got to get a lot. I'm on food prep this week. I'll show you that later on. It's actually really nice. But yeah, I've got food prep this week, so I don't need like a lot of food. Um but um I need to just get like milk, stuff like that, um, a few little like snacky things, some yogurt and fruit for breakfast uh, and then I need to go to Sainsbury's and get my coffee pods because I'm running low um, and just some like sweets and stuff and then a few cleaning bits and then pets at home for baby sky. So yeah, that shouldn't take too long now, um, but I've just got to go to like different places but um, yeah, it's 9am, got my coffee. Cheers. So, food shopping, everything is done. I'm now going to have gonna have some breakfast the same breakfast i have literally most mornings so after this i'm gonna have a shower wash my hair dry my hair and then i've got a makeup tiktok to film i've got another thing that i need to film i've got a fashion video that i need to film yeah and then i'm getting my nails done at three so so I have just done a makeup TikTok looking a little bit more presentable now. I'm just stopping and having lunch. It's quarter past one. Um, I had a shower and everything, washed my hair and I properly dried it and did the Dyson Air Wrap. So my hair's all nice and fresh. I said earlier that I'm doing food prep. I've just ordered um, a whole week of food prep and yeah, this is the second day and it's actually really nice the one that i had before it's just the one that like my gym used it really was it wasn't great the portion sizes are really small there wasn't that much choice it kind of alternated between two weeks and some of it was just like crap i had to add a ton of seasoning the portion sizes were just pathetic um but that they've just started using a new one and this is unreal it's called the good prep um i don't know 
if you can get them all over if it's just manchester i feel like you can get them everywhere it had a thing saying it was in like men's health and vogue and stuff so i feel like this is a really good one you should check it out but it's you can pick um what you want like breakfast lunch dinner some snacks and the portions are really good like last night i had a thai green chicken curry which was so nice ellen had the bolognese there's like pasta and there's carbs but all the ones before were like carb free i was starving all the time i used to just like break it and just eat what i wanted because i was so hungry this one is so much nicer i had bangers and mash for lunch yesterday so easy as well it's just like three minutes in the microwave this just helps me like stay on track so like protein and stuff and all your portions so yeah i would massively recommend this if you want to just kind of stay on track or um also if you're like really busy and haven't got the time to cook these are really good um options for you but yeah i'm just gonna have i've got piri piri turkey breast this is lunch um so yeah i'm gonna do that i'm still like snacking on stuff I've just had a bag of crisps a minute ago i'm still like snacking on stuff if i want um if i want to go out for a meal i will and i'll cook at weekend so like it's not as if i'm being super strict but. hello so it's five o'clock and everything's done like i can just chill now and have an evening that is in Insane. like i've had my nails done i have done all my videos and filming that i needed to do today i've just picked baby girl up from daycare and i feel great like i have not crashed i'm not feeling i'm starting to feel like a little bit tired now but not like about to fall asleep just a bit like it's coming into the evening tired if you know what i mean but like i'm a bit confused i'm like i thought i would be really crashing by now just got a wash on i've cleaned all the sides down done the dishwasher and yeah like normally i am now in like the biggest rush because i still haven't got all my work done there's still things that have not been ticked off my list that i need to do i am normally really rushing around at this point and i'm not i'm really chilled so day one was just really good i'm gonna do it for a few days on the trot i'm gonna try and do this 5am thing for a few days on the trot and bring you guys with me that i am really buzzing with today so i'll catch up with you just before i go to bed um let you know how i'm feeling but yeah day one i feel great i feel really good good night guys i'm signing off it is half 10 i I only started to crash about half seven half seven i was like okay i'm about to go to sleep because i've been having dinner earlier um the last two nights as well i mean i wouldn't have dinner till like half eight i've been having dinner at like half six seven so yeah uh, a lot earlier um i've just been watching telly and chilling and because like everything's done i can have a proper evening and chill um Whereas before I'm like normally showering at like 10 and then sitting down at like 11 to watch some TV. So today has been so much better. I'll be interested to see how I feel tomorrow morning. <laughs> I could literally be like, tomorrow but Nicole's coming tomorrow. So I've got like a good day with her planned. So we will see. But um, yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go to bed. And I'll see you at 5am, hopefully. I don't feel as bright this morning. <laughs> I didn't have very good sleep last night. I woke up a lot throughout the night. I just fill this out now. Milk for coffee this morning, guys. So that is an improvement from yesterday. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to fill this out. I really like this. I think it's so true.
the hands and the arms on the legs. Just noticing any sounds around you. And as you pause, just noticing how the body feels. Starting to notice how the body's breathing. Just got eight o'clock. I have read, I've journaled, I did some meditating. Uh, I've just been sitting um, on my phone, just getting some things done. Like already I've got, I had to um, re-edit a reel and send that off for approval, which I've done. I had to go through some emails, which I've done. I had to um, send insights, which I've done. And um, I sort something out for content, which I've done. So like I've already had, I've already got like four things ticked off my to-do list, which are just like little things. But it's like 8 a.m. and I've already got that to do, like already got that done, which is mental. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling fine. I feel like I always feel tired when I wake up anyway, even if it's like nine o'clock. I feel like you do. You're always for the first like half an hour might feel a little bit tired. So whether it's like five, whether it's nine, I kind of feel the same. Um, but yeah, like I said, I didn't have um, as good a sleep last night. Woke up quite a few times in the night. Nicole is on her way. I don't normally have people stay, but um, I'm on my own for a few days. So my friends were like, we'll come and stay. So yeah, Ellen's just gone into work now. Um, and then Nicole's on her way with her dog, Luna. So Luna and Sky can play together. Um, but me and Nicole are going out for dinner tonight at eight o'clock. So that would be a bit interesting because obviously I've been going to sleep a lot earlier. Um, but probably going to be a bit later tonight. And I'm going to get up at five tomorrow as well. I'm going to try and persuade Nicole, but I think she will tell me to piss off. Like, I do not think she's going to get up at that time. Who's here? One that you love the most. Ah, oh, thank you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I have chocolate in my mouth. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Never met her before. This is baby Luna. This is Nicole's baby. She's literally one of the cutest dogs. Look at her face. So we've just taken her and Skye on a really big walk. They so Nicole, I'm filming this video because I'm taking them on my 5am wake up journey the next few days. Jesus. Do you want to wake up with me tomorrow at 5am? I'll see how I feel. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me to do one. Absolutely not. Maybe she will. Um, but I'm feeling good still. I actually i am hungry for lunch and it's like half twelve. Because you know I never normally have breakfast until this time. But I had breakfast this morning at like eight because I was starving. And now I'm really hungry so I had to have a banana. Um, Sky, stop destroying every toy. She just ruins every single toy. She's already took all of the stuffing out of the monkey. I've had to throw it. Stop now. We're just having a nice chilled day. We're going to walk the dogs for about an hour. Um, back now. We've both got some work to do, so. We're being adults today and working from home. So me and Nicole are actually going to London next week. Um, and staying over. But I'm there. Luna, what? I'm there for work more than anything, but we'll probably go for some food or something. She's such an attention But I know, look at her, she just wants to be on the video. Do you want to say hi, vlog? Do you love me? Okay, can I just can I just show you how cute your face is? Oh, look at you. You are cute. Look at my trousers as well. I had a nice new tracksuit on and I've worn the dogs and I'm now Was that filthy. New? Sorry. Well, not new. I mean, like, I just washed and ironed it. <laughs> But yeah, they keep saying that they want us to do a question and answer video, a Q&A. So I thought we could film it in London, but I don't really know what questions do you want us to answer. I'm boring. Maybe leave in the comments down below what oh questions Christ. you want me and Nicole to answer and we'll do it. Or if there's any like generic friend Q&A videos I can watch and get some inspo. We've actually just eaten all of them. Yeah. She's just eaten the whole pack of these. <laughs> really like these. I've been having three a night. Three. Don't joke. They're <laughs> so good, aren't they? I'm gonna have some of the crumbs. <laughs> They're so nice. If you haven't tried them, you need to try some of these. They were lovely. But yeah, I'm so far so good, feeling good. And I'm a bit like 
wandering around aimlessly because the stuff that I'll be doing now, I did at eight o'clock this morning <laughs> before eight, so I'm a bit like, hmm. Have got a few. Like taking my breakfast. See, her breakfast, and I've, I'm ready for my lunch. She's not had a breakfast, but this is what I would normally do. And can we just, her breakfast, this is Nicole's favourite ever breakfast and I think it's so bizarre. Please let me know if anyone else likes this, I've never heard of this combo before. But, golden syrup porridge, which I love, very nice. And grapes, do you have this really grapes? Red grapes, I'm here for two days aren't I, so. The red grapes. Half the grapes. Just the thought of like warm grapes. Gotta mix it in Oh, it makes me feel sick. Oh, I love like a cold, crunchy grape. I love cold grapes, but like warm, Gooey grapes make me feel a bit really sick. Nice. Try it. But anyways, I'll catch up with you guys later. <clears throat> not doing a we're not doing a proper vlog. This is just a I got up at 5 a.m. video. This is how it went. So I'll catch you later. I might bring you along when we go for dinner together. Very excited. We're going to Peter Street Kitchen tonight. Hello, so it's 11 p.m. We've just got back from dinner. Oh, we got back about half ten, and I've just Let's sky out, got my makeup off, got ready and literally just got straight into bed. So I'm hoping we can go to sleep. I am feeling very tired and I started to get a bit like agitated around quarter past 10. I was like, I need to get back. This is my bedtime. <laughs> Nicole is like, what the fuck has got into you? Because normally when she stays around, I'm like up until like 1am. Um, but yeah, I was flagging a little bit earlier well, it got to like two o'clock i'd done all my film and i'd literally done everything that i needed to do for today and more um and nicole had a work call at two till three um so i was just like chilling being quiet and i could feel myself like ooh, going a bit wheezy woozy woozy i think that's the word going a bit woozy a bit tired um so yeah, I had about a 20 minute nap and I felt much better. I felt refreshed after that. And I feel like an afternoon nap is totally fine if I'm getting up at 5 a.m., right? But I'm not a napper. I never have afternoon naps really unless like I'm ill or I'm like, it's a one-off. I very rarely have an afternoon nap because normally I wake up from a nap feeling so groggy and I'm like, what year is it? Where am I? Who am I? Um because I think I'll always have like longer than is that you're meant to have I think you're only meant to have like 40 minutes right so I had like 20 minutes and I was feeling like fine after that I've had a really good night um but yeah another really good day like honestly today has been so good because I've just got everything done so yeah I'm gonna do 5am again in the morning I've got PT at 8 o'clock catch up with you guys in the morning hopefully at 5am and yeah, have another fabulous day. I was not in the 5am club this morning. I was not. Yeah. Didn't happen. I was in more of the 7.30am club. Just being real with you guys. Could lie. <laughs> but I was not. So tomorrow we try again. But... This isn't something I'm going to do every single day to start with. I mean, I don't think I'm going to do it every single day. I'd love to, but I think I will. But, you know, we did two days. This morning my alarm went off and I was like, absolutely not. I didn't get to sleep till like midnight. Um, See, so yeah, I was like, I've had five hours sleep. I'm not getting up now. So I went back to sleep for a few hours and I felt better. So it's fine. But tomorrow we're going to do 5am, okay? So, yeah. And I've done PT and everything, I've come back and I'm like, it's half 10 and I've literally done nothing. So going from yesterday where it was 8 a.m. and I'd done so much to now, I'm like, I've done nothing. So definitely, and I feel like even more tired today than I did the other days when I was getting up early. So I feel like really it is better for me just to get up at five. So we're going to try again, okay? Tomorrow we go again. All we can do is try our best. Um, so yeah, I will catch back up with you tomorrow morning at 5am, okay? It's gonna happen, guys. <laughs> Baby, we're back. 
5am club. Bit more of a struggle this morning. I snooze twice, but it's like quarter past five, so yay. Just got a coffee. That is actually the sun rising over there. I don't know if you can see. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my journaling. I'd really recommend this because it's literally a few minutes. I really notice how nice it looks in the morning as the sun's rising. I love sunsets, I always really enjoy looking at sunsets. Yeah, I never know. Hmm. Oops. Hello. Good morning. Baby. <laughs> She's just been out for a wee. But she's definitely going to go back to bed with her dad. She hates early mornings. <laughs> Breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe in, just feeling the lungs expand as they fill with air. And as you breathe out... Take some vitamins. This is another thing that I've had them for ages and I just never do. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've just done a little quick meditation and I've read for a good half an hour which again I've been reading that book for literally since probably June and I like pick it up for five minutes here and there so I never have the time to read and by the time I get into bed in the night I'm tired and I don't want to sit and read but like obviously in the morning that's something if I'm getting up early that's something I'm doing so it's so nice just having that few hours where things I haven't got time for and get into like a routine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take my vitamins now. So it's about 9 a.m. Just got to the park to walk baby girl. I literally edited my whole video. I can't believe I've edited the whole video this morning as well. Um, yeah, it's a really beautiful morning. I'm actually getting warm. It was like a little bit cold at the start, but sunny. Um, I love mornings like that, but yeah, it's getting quite warm now. But baby skies, I'm loving life. This way. Come down. Right, so I'm back from my walk. Baby sky has been showered and washed. I am showered and washed. I hair is all freshly air wrapped, makeup is done, I filmed a TikTok and yeah it's one o'clock and I'm going to meet my friend at two o'clock, going to have a little coffee with her. Um, I've got the cinema tonight but again I've got so much done and I'm feeling so good and so productive and I am literally so buzzing that I got up at 5am. Last night, honestly, it's so weird. I was thinking to myself, like, I'm kind of excited to get up at 5am in the morning because I just know how good I'm feeling when I'm doing these days. It's crazy. Um, I actually can't explain how good it's making me feel. Like, I really can't. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see how I go moving forward. So tomorrow's Saturday. I've got PT at 8, so I'm going to get up at, like, 7 sunday i love a sunday i'm filming a sunday reset and sundays are one of my favorite days i've got pilates at 9 45 i'll sleep until nine on a sunday and then monday um i'm gonna get up at five and yeah i'll let you know going forward in my vlogs how i get on this is something i'm really gonna try and stick at because honestly the difference that i've felt getting up at five and having these days is like insane like i actually can't explain how good i've felt and how much more i've got done like literally it's one o'clock one o'clock and i have read meditated 
journaled, walked the dog for an hour, washed the dog, had a shower, washed my hair, dried my hair, edited a full YouTube video, done a full get ready with me TikTok, had breakfast, children watch um youtube for a bit and it's like one o'clock normally i'd do all that and it's like 10 p.m <laughs> honestly it's just made me feel so good now i appreciate 5 a.m is extremely early listen to your body like i am not a natural early morning person right my mom will get up at like six she naturally wakes up at six day off weekend whatever she's up and i'm always like you're a freak why do you do that? But my mom has always done that and gets everything done in the morning and then she chills in the afternoon. That's how she always has. And I'm like, I'm just not wired like that. That is not me. Um, however, I feel like if you push yourself to do it, you can do it. And in this book I'm reading, I'd really recommend to get the book. And it's all saying, you know, you have to implement a habit for like 66 days, you start, which is like really difficult, really hard. And then once you break a habit i think it's like nine weeks to break a habit once you do it it's so much easier and this is not by all means something i'm going to do every single day it's just not um because i think rest is so important looking after yourself is so important i love a sleep in as well so i'm going to just listen to my body so like yesterday morning i was like no because i had a bit of a later night so i didn't do it the weekend i'm not going to do it but definitely i'm really going to try throughout the week three days i mean i may even get up to five days where i do weekdays 5am i don't know i don't know how it's gonna go i really hope i'm not sitting here in two weeks and i'm like yeah that's gone out the window i'm not good at being consistent that's something i'm really trying to work on but i just know how good i felt the last few days just by doing this i've had so, got so much more done i've had so many people message me on instagram like saying they really want to do it just try it like literally just try it the only person that is stopping you from doing these things is yourself and that's what i've learned like i always make excuses always think i can't do it you can just get up and do it if it's not for you it's not for you but just try it and stick at it if you can try and stick it out a little bit um then try but yeah if you're someone who this absolutely does not work for you then it's fine doesn't mean you know all these a lot of these you know self-help things is like if you want to be successful you have to get up at 5am it's not true like you don't have to okay i think what it means is just how i have noticed just how good i felt from doing it and how much i've got done and how positive i feel and how motivated i feel and because i've got up at that time i feel proud of myself so i'm like buzzing for the rest of the day rather than like having a really slow groggy morning and i'm like lazy and i can't be asked um so that's just me personally everybody's different listen to your body if it's not for you you can still have a productive day if you start at nine okay it's just it's just personal preference but i really have enjoyed doing it and i'm so glad that i have done it and yeah it's been really good but yeah i really hope you enjoyed watching this video something a little bit different but i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one